giant rock monster. The same one that from, uh, I almost look like the one from Galaxy Quest, kind of. Maybe a little. Maybe it's just I grouped together all rock monsters, which is unfair of me. But, uh, yeah, just throwing all this monstery stuff in here. Hope I, uh, I hope she cleans this before using the food again. Okay. This should be enough, I think, right? Not very much meat and stuff, but we kind of we're kind of out of that, so. Cooking pot, yes. I already used it. Don't worry about me. Okay, sorry, kid. Now we're gonna run off with trusty Bill and Sup. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Bill. We got our little. Uh, Side quest. The Royal White Stallion. Or a rare find. Some raw. Raw gourmet meat. Why raw meat? That's what I want to know. Get on there. It's a bit weird. I know, like, that's the thing. Food, like, you know, working in a restaurant. Food is, is delicious, but it's also really gross. And like a lot of restaurants are really gross if you work at them and I don't know. Certain things that people want to eat, like uh I worked at a French restaurant. Ooh, is that a oh it totally is. I worked at a French restaurant and they were obsessed with uh doing like oh it's a grasshopper, let me have you, let me have you, let me grab you, let me go, yes. Or a cricket rather. Um French restaurant and they had like veal cheek. Like raw veal cheek that they were serving. And I remember my friend was a uh, Chef, he's like, hey, do you, uh, you want some of this? And I was like, no, I don't want some of this. It's just a raw lamb cheek, you know? It's weird. Hey. Okay, thanks. Thank you, thank you, sir, for telling me that. Uh, oh, hey, there's a shrine up there. Cool. So oh, that was that, uh, that blinking sound. My bad. We'll go and do that shrine so you could get a glimpse of the... Oh yeah, you came in. You came in with the last shrine, so you know what they're about. Let's go back to it. Excuse me. Did I just kill that bird? No, I didn't. Um, okay, there, hey, there's a boar. Oh, he ran away. We got some gourmet meat. I wonder if that would be gourmet enough for him, a boar. Oh, it's really going. Maybe not. Maybe not. Bill's just like, what are you doing? Sorry, Bill. I know, I know. Oh, no. Choo choo. Choo choo. Get away from me, choo choo. Bill. Bill, wait here. Wait here, Bill. I'll be back. I just need to do the shrine real quick. I have arrows equipped now. Yes, I do. At least the shrine is close. It's not super out of the way or anything. All right. Rota, Rotau, Rotau. Almost sounds uh, like a Polynesian language. Which um, I actually recorded it for Christmas or no Christmas Eve. We always go to my my uncle's house, and he has, you know, he speaks Samoan. I don't really, I don't understand it, obviously, but um, I mean, I never had the opportunity to learn that. But he uh, speaks like a prayer in Samoan, and I just love the Samoan language. It's just such a cool, like melodic, super vowel-heavy language, and it just sounds really neat. If you've never heard Samoan, I definitely. Um, urge you to like check out a video of someone speaking it because it's a really cool it sounds really cool and a uh, really cool language and I wish I could speak it but I can't so it is unfortunate but whatever passing up the gates okay I wonder if this is gonna be a difficult one or an easy one oh I did not mean to my my link is just like bomb crazy. Just want, oh, we have to blow everything up. Um, okay, do this. Magnesis. Just 
getting a glimpse of everything. What is that? Can't stop time on it. It's blinking. Water. Water beneath it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Do stasis? Or not stasis? Cryo or whatever? Oh wait, I can't do it beneath me. If I'm in the water. Guessing we need to get this ball in that hole. Pick it up. Don't drop it in the water. Well, I could drop it over here. Oh, wait. Gosh, Link. <laughs> Okay. Not the best throw, but move it over. Oh no, this is actually closed. I wish they didn't make it possible for you to drown in such a small amount of water. It is like an embarrassingly small amount. Okay, Link, you really messed up this time. Get this ball over. These puzzles have been like strangely either very satisfying or very just confusing. Not like they're super difficult, but kind of just like, I don't know, sometimes my brain and the kind of connections you have to make for that sort of stuff just doesn't work. Um, like, I have problems with, like, certain associative problems, with associative thinking, so... Yeah, sometimes just like, well, I don't know. Okay, there's a key here. Did I just need to shoot that or something? Whoa! Okay. That's a thing. So, go here. Hmm, it's still over there. I wish this, <laughs> if Link was just a little bit stronger, he could throw it over. Um, okay, so let's take stock. When that turns, we can shoot it from here. When that turns, it goes like that. Hmm. Oh, okay. What about this? Let's try this. Put this here. And I imagine when it comes around, it'll break it, right? Maybe? Link, stop shaking, please. I mean, we'll throw this in there and then transfer it, right? Maybe? Just come up here. Stop shaking, please. Freeze, Link. Oh, I won't freeze it like that. That is unfortunate. I did not mean to do that. Well, am I stuck over here now? Oh no, I just need to jump under. Yeah, some of these are like really, really simple and other ones not so much, so. Oh, duh, I'm, I'm, I'm being dumb. I'm being dumb. And we got our arrow back, which is nice. Two arrows. Okay, I got it, I got it. 
Here we go. Drop this. It's gonna... Oh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. It's gonna be here. I'm gonna throw it over into this thing. It's gonna act as a catapult. Oh gosh. Can't. The R1, the R1, R2 situation on the Switch is very confusing. Nope. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Throw it, Link. There we go, okay. So, here's my idea. It's gonna launch it into the right place, right? Maybe? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. Alright, so now we got this thing. So that was good. Okay. Just want to check over here. I can go. Well, wait. Just trying to figure out. How to get in here because I want to get to this chest real quick. Oh, I should probably run out while I'm. Oop. There we go. Alright. Small key. Unlock doors inside of shrines. That's useful. I imagine I'll have to use that, like right now, so. Um. Small key takes me back to the original Legend of Zelda. Open that door. It's all just going to be about getting keys, I think, probably, right? Um. Okay, well that's a that's a pickle right there. This is a this is an involved one. Uh, okay, so this is that was stupid. Um, I used it to open it. This is what happens. Okay, I used it to open it. I go back over, shoot it to send the thing back, right? Try not to drown here in like two feet of water. Um, okay, that's what happens. So that is open now. I go like this, I miss purposely twice. There we go. That this happens. Okay. There we go. Huh. Feathered Edge. Rito Craftsman forged this lightweight double-edged sword so Rito Warriors could soar into battle unhindered by its weight. How useful. Okay. Go this way. Climb. Climb this. I guess not. Nope, 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 nope. Huh. What's the next part of this puzzle? Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's what I love about puzzles, like you feel, when you solve them, you feel pretty good about yourself, so that was pretty fun. Nice. Cool. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Well done, Nintendo. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Oh, that, that, I felt like I earned that one, so. We have four now. We can upgrade our stamina or our heart containers. Honestly, I might do the stamina again, because I feel like I just get knocked around, you know? Um, because I run out of stuff, or I run out of stamina, so... Whew, getting a little hungry. 
Could use some of that chicken 